We've got our little uh, 12 volt broadcast spreader here and we're just going to talk about how that's adjusted um, when spreading mouse bait. Um, as I mentioned before, we've got a, a little choke here that can adjust uh, a little slider and basically what that's doing is opening and closing a choke uh, which basically meters the, uh, the, the bait onto the spinner. All these little broadcast spreaders are a little bit different um, but the majority of them have that same common feature in that they're going to adjust that, that little choke size and adjust the flow of grain onto the spinner. They all have a 12 volt uh, actuator, uh, so a little switch. I've got a little switch box um, which can be either mounted uh, in the cabin of the tractor or on the cab of the ute or wherever it may well be. Uh, and basically the, the, the switch is just to turn the, the machine on and off. You can get um, units that have a variable speed, um, but most are just a, a straight switch on and off. Uh, because these are 12 volt and because they quite often might be operating quite a distance to the back of the bar, uh, for example in a, in a seating um, scenario, we need to make sure that the wire gauge is heavy enough uh, to carry the current. They, these little motors do chew a little bit of current and we need to make sure that that's supplied uh, with wiring that's capable of handling it. Um, we also need to make sure that if we've got this mounted at the back of the bar that we can see what's going on. And One really good idea that, that uh, has been brought up um, from farmers across the country is just mounting a small camera inside the, uh, inside the hopper so you know exactly what's going on. The beauty about that is that you don't get to the end of sort of 30 or 40 hectares and look in there and go, oh look there's been some, some grey and breach. So it's a really good idea just to pop a little camera in there. Most of them have got their own um, infrared light source so you can see what's going on. There's three main variables that we need to take into account. The first one is our swath width and, and that's the operating width that we're going to be transversing through the paddock at. Um, the other one is the choke here which adjusts the flow of, of uh, bait onto the spinner. And of course the third one is our travel speed. In most cases that travel speed is the best way to, or to fine tune or adjust uh, the application on the paddock. So what we typically do is put 500 grams uh, of product in a little spinner like this um, and we measure the amount of time taken for that to empty. Now Let's work through an example. In this particular scenario we're using a 12.2 metre or 40 foot bar a 12 volt spreader fixed to the back of the air commodity cart in this tow behind configuration and we want to operate at let's say 10 kilometers per hour. Now first things first, we need to leave a 50 meter buffer around any native vegetation and to the edge of the crop. Our 12.2 meter bar traveling at 10 kilometers per hour will cover about 0.2 of a hectare every minute. That means at a targeted flow rate of one kilogram per hectare, we also need the spreader to put through about 0.2 of a kilogram every minute to meet our one kilogram per hectare rate. That means that for our 500 gram initial calibration volume, we're looking for about two and a half minutes for that to flow through. Now that might require some adjustment of the spreader choke to meet that two minutes, 27 seconds, because in the seeding scenario, we haven't got a lot of options in terms of adjusting our speed.